It is about the largest city in the state of Gujarat, located in Western India on the banks of the river Sabarmati. Since its foundation, Ahmedabad has been making its significant presence in the list of cities with the most number of heritage sites. Whether it be a stepwell, a temple, a mosque, a historical gate or any such architectural wonder, you will find it all here. Yes, it is the only city of Gujarat. This is Ahmedabad. Aisanpur is a small village a few kilometers to the south of Ahmedabad. This village in the outskirts of the city is rich in heritage sites. Amongst these is a stepwell. The stepwell as a form of artistic architecture started during the Chalukya period. The stepwell is situated outside the village in an orchard in private possession. The name is derived from a man who had constructed this stepwell about a hundred years ago, Jethabai Jivanlal Nagjibai. A number of ancient ornamental parts were used in the construction of this stepwell. The stepwell has four pavilion towers of different formations and an entrance pavilion on a raised platform which is in its structure a corbel system of roofing similar to that of the Dada Harir stepwell. The first, second and third kuta are made of three and four row of pillars and pilasters. The fourth kuta is adjacent to the well with which it is connected to a narrow neck. It consists of two rows of pillars. The lower story of this kuta is approached by a spiral staircase on the southern side and a staircase on the northern side. The pillars in the first story of each kuta are elongated and made of two sections. The upper one obviously is an older part. Two parts are divided by projecting corbels. The pillars in the lower story are of the usual misraka type, although completely plain except for two projecting round mouldings at the base, also known as kumbhi. The sculptures in the niche and at the pediments are in some cases older than the stepwell. They depict Bhairava, Hanuman, Ganesha, a seated goddess Lakshmi with four arms, a full brown flower with a vase hanging down from a chain as also found in the Dada Hari stepwell and Vishnu with attendants flanked by panels of erotic scenes. The stepwell ensures the availability of water during the period of drought. The stepwell had social, cultural and religious significance. These stepwells were proven to be well-built, sturdy structures after withstanding earthquakes. The stepwell, standing still since the year of construction. Have you ever thought about the feelings of the stepwell for the people? Let's hear it from the stepwell itself. Beginning at the end, many feet that have walked these floors, many voices that have been raised when in this roof. When I remember how everything started, I remember the woman carrying earthen pots early in the morning here. I used to empathize with them, sharing their mourns and happiness. And how has the scenario transformed devastatingly with time immemorial? Have been through vivid days and dark nights. Have seen people from different walks of life change. Though I understand change is the absolute rule of nature. But what do people get by distorting my carvings? Even foreigners give me the respect I had in ancient and medieval ages. Why can't youth inherit the respect for heritage? Why has the youth lost its interest to me? Why can't the youth inherit the respect for heritage? Why has the youth lost its interest to me? Henceforth, I request the future generation pave ways for the exploration of insights into the golden period and understand the importance of this rich cultural heritage. The nation is recognized by us as the strength of a tree is measured by its root. 